马拉特的拳法进攻啊！哦。Marat Gregorian is an Armenian-born Belgian kickboxer, currently signed to One Championship, where he competes in the featherweight division. Gregorian is a former Glory lightweight champion. He is famous for his technical, aggressive fighting style and knockout power. With a knockout win over Superbon, who recently dethroned pound-for-pound king Giorgio Petrosian. Gregorian is debatably the best 70 kilogram kickboxer in the world today. He's out. He's out. Oh my goodness! He's out. He's gone. He's done. That wow. was a John Nunn. Oh my goodness! What a punch by the Belgian beast, Marat Gregorian. Wow. Training out of the Hemmers Kickboxing Gym in Holland, Marat shares similarities to legendary Dutch fighter Ramon Dekkers. Described in Muay Thai as a Muay Mat stylist, a boxer low kicker, Dekas was renowned for his forward pressure, stalking opponents to the ropes before unleashing heavy combinations. Marat's tactics are essentially the same, but his footwork is more sophisticated than Ramon's, who would often just follow his opponents around the ring, literally walking forward. Marat does an excellent job of cutting his opponent off, staying in front of them, making it difficult for them to circle off the ropes and back to centre ring. This lateral footwork enables the fighters to move much quicker than remaining in stance. The fighter temporarily leaves stance, bringing feet square, and kicks one foot into the other, covering more ground quickly. It traps the opponent with a suffocating presence and eventually forces them to exchange. Once the opponent is trapped against the ropes, they can no longer retreat backwards and Marat can begin to unload his heavy combinations. Defensively, he will opt to keep a tight, high guard, often happy to take punches on the gloves. By planting and taking shots, he gives himself a sturdy base to absorb the impact, whilst always being in range to counter back. The earmuff style, tight, high guard, is far more effective in kickboxing than MMA or Muay Thai, where elbows can penetrate the guard and small 4 ounce gloves can find the holes more easily. Marat chooses to plant and double block with the arms against body kicks. This takes some of the impact out of the kick, protecting the ribs, but it doesn't hurt the opponent to kick the arm and the kick will still score. The advantage of checking with the shin is it hurts the kicker and therefore acts as a deterrent. We've also seen a few nasty leg injuries over the recent years, with fighters breaking their legs on misplaced low kicks. By blocking on the arms and moving towards the kick, instead of lifting the leg to check, Marat is in a position to counter and remains on balance with both feet on the ground. Where he has become disadvantaged in this approach is against the elite ties, who are able to maintain their distance when they land the body kick. Fighters like Yodson Klai and Sitachai both managed to avoid the counter-attacks of Marat, staying at range with a kick to the body and using front kicks to stifle him as he tries to step back in. But those are the elite, fighters with hundreds of fight experience and expert body kickers. Growing in, he's becoming more mature. Now he has to... For the next three minutes. That good pressure from Gregorian, but Sidichai keeps throwing that left kick. Chai too. Marat seems though to have just a bit more energy here. Let's see if he can let it all hang out with a minute to go. There's another straight left from Sidichai. Both men have tape coming off their gloves. Attacking the leg is a staple of any Dutch kickboxer and a good strategy against opponents that are utilising a lot of footwork. By beating up the leg you slow them down. This will force them to stand still more often, making them easier to hit. The low kick is an easy strike to land on an opponent that is moving, as whilst you are moving, it's hard to block. If the opponent can't get out of the way in time after landing their own attack, they will steadily accumulate damage every time they strike. This is an investment for Marat, money in the bank. His pressure is consistent and workmanlike, chipping away at the opponent until they eventually tire of moving 
becoming his punching bag, or they open themselves up in an exchange and Marek can land a clean shot. Like any fighter, Marat has a few go-to combinations that are very successful for him. One that has produced a few highlight reel knockouts is his left hook into right high kick. Left-right, left-right combinations are bread and butter for any striker, as one strike helps generate power into the next through rotation of the core. The left hook sets up a powerful right high kick, whilst also knocking the opponent into it, increasing the power. Marat uses this when he has his opponents on the rope. He'll have usually been chopping away at the leg first, so after every left hook landed, the opponent will begin to expect the same pattern and brace themselves for the low kick. The high kick can then catch them by surprise, but he also uses a slight step to the left, leaving the opponent to believe they can escape to their own left, especially when against the ropes, only to be met by Marat's kick to the head. The jab, an essential piece in the Gregorian game. Operating out of a high guard, it is difficult to open it with hooks as a lead, as they can be seen a mile away. Boxers like Roy Jones Jr, who often have low hanging hands, are able to spring in with lead hooks from odd angles, catching people by surprise. This becomes very difficult to do when the hands are up by your head and at the opponent's eye level. This is why the jab straight down the middle, leaving little opening to counter on, is a must when leading attacks. Marat's best inside work comes off a jab setup, forcing his opponent to shell up first, closing their eyes with the jab, before being able to unload with heavier shots to the head or body. By tapping at the gloves and occupying the opponent's hands and vision, he gives himself time to pick the best shots to throw. He also uses a piston-like jab, pushing off of his back foot to generate power, to force an opponent backward, much like Gennady Golovkin. It is a great accompaniment to his forward pressure and works towards directing opponents to the ropes, where he can make them stationary to land his better work. Andy jukes his way out, goes the body, goes the head. Gregorian gets out the way of the high kick. But Marat straight back on top of him. And then stretch more off the other foot. Oh, nice jab, got through Muhammad's guard. Oh, wow. Big right. Oh, he's ripping him now. This is, this. Boy, the low kicks. Oh, just the way he picks this. Fighting against the southpaw, the jab is less effective. This is because both the lead hands are directly in front of each other and get in the way. It is also much easier for a southpaw to drift the outside of the jab, getting away from the power of the orthodox fighter, and vice versa. Going back to the great body kickers that have defeated Gregorian, Yartsen Klai, Sisachai three times, and then Sergei Adamchuk, they're all southpaw. Even southpaw fighter Elvis Gashi who Marat defeated by knockout in the fifth round, gave Gregorian a lot of problems throughout the bout, partly due to Marat not being able to set up off his jab as effectively, with Elvis Gashi constantly drifting to the outside. As of this video, Gregorian is signed to one championship and competing in the featherweight tournament. Having already defeated Andy Sauer by knockout in the quarterfinals, he's set to face Chingiz Alazov in the semis, a man he has already beaten. With a knockout win over Super One, who just beat the King Petrosian, the division is very exciting with some top bouts on the horizon for Gregorian, adding to his already decorated career. Once again, thanks for watching. You can help support the channel via Patreon, the link is in the bio, and feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks from Pro Striking. Technical knockout.